Jennifer Chestnut is a teacher at one of the only publicly funded arts-based elementary schools here in Ontario. Jennifer is the co-chair of the Trade Committee for the Council of Canadians, London Chapter. Graduated from Trent University, where she learned that the way countries become corporatized is through trade law, also called free trade agreements. More of her work can be found on local websites such as Eco Living London and Fuse. Please welcome Jennifer Chestnut. Across this globe, from Egypt to Occupy, people are changing. They are standing up and demanding that their governments do not sell their rights and resources away. We, globally, are entering a new era. It is an era of engaged citizenship, where we remember to think like the ants and transfer our power from person to person to person. I am Jennifer Chestnut. I am a teacher and every day working with children, I understand this, that children know the big picture very well. They're clear about the big picture. They understand what matters. They are connected to the ideas of peace and justice, equality and protecting the planet. And because children's future is at risk right now, ecologically, politically, we need to widen our lens to the big picture as well. Here we are in Canada, and this is the big picture, CETA. Many have not heard about it, but it is a major trade agreement coming into Canada that will change our landscape drastically. Quick Trade 101. Maud Barlow, the Council of Canadians chair and former, former advisor to the World's Water, says that trade is the transfer of power from, corp from citizens to corporations. Trade agreements, in effect, rewrite the law. And our previous trade agreement, NAFTA and CETA, have something that is quite insidious. It is called investor rights, and it allows corporations to sue our governments when we use laws to protect us environmentally and individually. Trade law is decided in trade tribunals by individuals who are not elected. CETA, let's talk about what it is. CETA is a trade agreement that's different than anything else. What it is doing, it is putting the commons on the table. It's our public infrastructure, our public education, healthcare, medicine. This is what CETA is. But luckily, people are beginning to find out what are they doing. The Civil Society Declaration was created by 80 organizations like the Sierra Club, and it says corporations must not create our law. It's a big moment in Canada. It's a moment to take pause. CETA ignites a fire in the belly and it gets people talking. It's time that we open up the door on this secret document that has not gone to press. We need to demand the contents of CETA from our Prime Minister before he signs it in early 2012. So what is happening is a connection. Through our, high, our information highways online, people are finding out, they're trading documents, and they're also using their own social networks to get the word out in Canada. Here in London, we're building a strong movement. And if you think about the potential of one person telling another, telling another, the message can spread pretty quick. The thing to keep in mind here is the power that we have. The power that we have is not in the individual, but it's spread in the individual when we work collectively. So it's remembering our collective power, and we can be inspired by some of our natural workers, like the ants, who know what it's like to work in communication directly. Think of the movie The Bug's Life. I don't know if you've seen it, but they stand up to a thug grasshopper who is trying to take away their commons. At this time in history, in Canada, it's important to think about where we are where, and also where we are going. What do we want for our future generations? Medicine, public education, clean air, clean water, and what are we doing to ensure that that happens? Canada is a beautiful country. It's a country of stone and river and forest, and right now, the CETA is an opportunity to take pause in Canada. If you want to know more, Maud Barlow, 
Canadian genius is coming to the Wolf Performance Hall tomorrow to speak about how the public commons is at threat, is at seven o'clock, and it's free. More information can also be found at the Canadian Council website and the stopceda at gmail.com. You are invited to take the invitation of engaged citizenship. All that is required is your big picture imagination. <laughs>